my flowers. afternoon no it's actually good afternoon it's 1 p.m hello darlings and welcome back to another weekly vlog if you're new here hi hello my name is lisa and welcome if you haven't already subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button even though youtube has literally become <laughs> so hard we have goals to hit this year we are trying to hit some numbers so please if you're watching this video please do subscribe what is this honey how are you guys doing how are you guys are you guys good comment down below happy thursday this morning i went to my 9 15 pilates class i do feel like it was harder than the other classes just because i've been going to the gym recently as well i've incorporated the gym into my workout routine and i went to the gym yesterday on wednesday and i did like 20 minutes stair master did 20 minutes on the treadmill so i think my legs were a bit you know fatigued our pilates instructor just seems to have this obsession with glutes and hamstrings and legs and squats and bums and i mean all very good obsessions to have right but it was a lot. I'm actually about to get ready because we are actually going to visit Pretty Little Thing HQ. Um, I've been there a few times, actually twice with you guys on camera, I believe. They invited me down to their HQ just to shop some of their new in bits and pick up pieces. My appointment is at 3.30, so I plan to leave at 3. So I'm gonna fix this disaster that is my hair. I need to figure out what to wear. I hate dressing when it's raining. I prefer dressing in the actual freezing cold than dressing when it's raining because like you literally can't do much, can't wear much, can't wear your furs because you don't want them to get wet, can't wear certain shoes because you don't want them to get wet and dirty either. Dressing in the rain is just not fun, okay? I also want to try to go to the post office quickly before i actually jump on the train because i have some i have some wigs to send off i do sell some of the wigs that i um promote on my youtube channel you guys see my wig videos i do sell some of those wigs over on my instagram stories some of them are new some of them are um lightly used and when i say lightly used literally worn once for a video i didn't tie my hair before i went to bed yesterday I literally have no idea who I think I am. Like, I don't know whether I think that this wig on my head is my real hair because it's absolutely not. So I need to be tying my hair before I go to sleep. I didn't tie it. And then obviously I've gone to Pilates this morning and I'm sweating. So I'm gonna do my baby hairs real quick. Do my makeup and I'll come back when I'm getting dressed. Where is said baby hair styler? oh there it is i'm 
about ready to leave. I'm wearing my um, jacket from Revolve. It's from the brand Girlfriend. And I'm wearing a PLT um, jumpsuit, actually. It's literally top to bottom jumpsuit. And then my ASICs. And then my Fendi toiletry bag. And yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm on my way to the train station and I'm gonna hop on the train and off to PLT. I'm running a tiny bit behind time, but it should be fine. So I will um, see you guys when I get there. Something new about my music. Uh, let's pass the millennium. It's, it's not, you know, everybody trying to make songs that's for the millennium. I think I've been ahead of the millennium or whatever. I've been out the depth before Christ and all of that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make music that that is is far ahead. And with the blessing of God, you know, I'm gonna keep keep making music. Baby boy, stay on my I just finished at PLT. I've got my goodies in tow. Um, there were some really cute bits I think I showed you in the last clip. I've had that um, the jeans and the denim skirt. They were actually in my favorites on PLT, but they don't have them in my in my size, so they're gonna order me. Um, they're gonna order them for me and send them to my address which is absolutely perfect because those jeans are so cute i'm gonna go to joe and the juice quickly which is this way yeah so i'm gonna go to joe and the juice quickly get a drink and then back home Lisa. thank you Good morning guys, good afternoon, actually it's not good morning anymore, it's way past good morning, way past good morning. So today is Friday, I last saw you guys yesterday, it's just gone past, it's now currently 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I've been lazing around doing nothing well i wouldn't say doing nothing i was editing some content and then i just got like i don't know my head is all over the place i don't feel like myself i don't know i'm just in a jarring mood okay and then on top of all of that my nail broke i received a parcel so i'm opening up the parcel and i usually open up parcels with my nails and it's usually not a problem my nail has broken and I don't know whether that is a reality or a soon to come reality for the rest of them. And I've tried to fix it with some nail glue, but I just tested it just now. It's very much breakable. <laughs> and it's gonna come off. So like now I have to go to the nail shop, even though 
what is this? Even though that is not what I wanted to do. And FA is going to get angry at me again. But I have lunch tomorrow. I'm going out to lunch with Amma. I'm not going to go to lunch with this stubby, short thumb that is even pissing me off to look at it. Yeah, and I was going to do my nails next week because they're actually due for me to do them. I can't wait till next week. And I could just glue it down for tomorrow. But I can't just glue it down just for tomorrow because I have content that I need to take at the beginning of the week as well. So I'm just going to have to go and fix my nail and pray that the rest don't break until I go and get them done. I'm so sorry, FA. Like, if you're seeing this, I don't really have a choice. So now I'll have to get up now. I need to go to Zara to pick up a top um for the skirt that i'm wearing to brunch a high neck cream top in preferably the same color so i actually saw a top on zara that i like so i'm gonna go and pick that up so this is the skirt i plan to wear to lunch tomorrow yeah like i don't know if you guys can tell but something just does not feel right in my body i need to pray like i'm just I don't want to say all over the place, but I'm just in a very jarring mood. And then I also have an order to pick up from Space and K. I ordered some of the Notorium body washes. Well, I ordered one um, just to re-up because all of mine that I was gifted have now finished because I absolutely love them. So I picked up another one because I have noticed the difference in my skin when I'm not using Notorium. Like I had two little spots here on my chest the other day and I had one on my shoulder and I also have a spot here that is coming I can feel it and it's really painful and lip spots are the worst like they're just so painful I haven't seen these spots on me for like a long time and that's because I was no longer using Notorium body wash it so I'm going to go and pick mine up I ordered it to store in Space NK so I'm just going to go pick that up Go and get the Zara top and then come home. But before I do all of that, we're just going to go to the nail shop. I'm just going to fix the nail. I'm going to stop talking and get on with the day as if I have not wasted enough time, enough wallowing in my jarringness. Anyways, let me go. I'm out of the shower. That was a very quick shower. I've done my skincare. I'm just going to cream my body. I definitely want to do a face mask when I come back tonight because my skin is on the shit i'm using the course notorium bio lipid restoring body lotion i really like this and i'm almost out of this as well as you can see i do like the notorium one don't get me wrong but i prefer my garnier one um to this one oh we don't have to get real ghetto in here. There we go. It's all coming out now, isn't it? I got the pretty little thing parcel with the jeans and the skirt. I really hope they fit. I don't have time to try them on now, so I'm going to try them on tomorrow. Hopefully we have enough time. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ready to go. Um, I'm wearing a hoodie um my black fur jacket from urban outfitters my tom fords which i don't need to wear because it's actually not sunny outside in fact it's going to be dark soon i'm wearing my um my adidas gucci bear I'm trying the new Salt of Janeiro perfume. Um, this is this is Shea Rosa, Shea Rosa, Delicia, Drench. This is the new one that they came out with um, like a couple weeks ago, I think. I've tried it and I don't really um, like it. It's really giving me a 
I don't think he's better than the other one. I do prefer the body cream. This is really nice. Yeah, this is doing nothing. The actual perfumist not doing much for me. I prefer this one. This one is my favourite one. I've bought this twice. And this one is really good as well. And this one too. But yeah, this unfortunately, sadly, because I really wanted to actually buy it, but I didn't want to buy it online because I actually wanted to try it. And thank God that I didn't buy it online because it just, it's not doing much for me. Guys, I finished at Space and Cave. I've got my order and now I'm going to pop on the train and go to Oxford Street and I'm so hungry I don't like coming outside when I'm hungry it's not a good idea but I'm hungry hey guys so I just remembered you I said I was going to bring you guys in here when I'm trying stuff on but I've already tried everything yeah, on so this is the skirt and I've decided to go with this top they're not exact matches but it's gonna have to do and Jamila said she preferred the button down can I see that but I don't know I think the button down is a bit too distracting for the skirt so yeah I've got what I needed I'm in boots right now and I had no idea that Bioma has come out with a body wash where was the PR campaign for this? I did not see this. I had no idea they came up with a body wash. This looks really good. I really want to try this one, but I've already picked up the Notorium one. So it's like, do I need multiple body washes? And I don't think this is going to be scented. I like to have like a normal body wash for every day. And then I use my I use my Victorian one for that and then like a scented body wash when I'm going out. But this looks really good. This has got prebiotic complex niacinamide. And this one's got triceramide complex. And this is also another goated Ioma product. The brightening toner. I absolutely love this. I bought multiple top ups of this, but I'm giving this a break for now. And I feel like it's done all it can for me. You know, when a product kind of like stops working, you have to like give it a break. But they've also got body oil. This is so cute. Oh, it smells good. Hi guys and happy Saturday. Um what's good? What's up? How y'all doing? So I Oh, I need a different brush. I think it's just gone past one o'clock. I'm currently getting ready to go to lunch. Um, I went to the gym this morning. I forced myself. I wanted to do a little workout. I've been trying to do three days minimum a week i did three days last week so two days at the gym 
and one day doing Pilates. Came home and I've just been tidying up. I had a shower. Now I am getting ready. I told you guys I'm going to lunch with Amma today. We are going to Jacuzzi. It's a restaurant in Kensington. I believe it's part of the Big Mama group. Um, it's Italian food. So yeah, that is where we are going today. So I've got like one hour and a bit to get ready and get dressed. So yeah, I'm gonna do an updo because I haven't done an updo in a hot minute. And then I'm also gonna film a little get ready with me. And I also wanna do a, um, a get dressed with me as well. So I need to realistically do my makeup in like the next 45 minutes. I need to get a different hair clip because my outfit is cream. I'm gonna be wearing gold, so I need a gold clip, a gold claw clip. I don't have one. I don't have one. Making sure everything is sleek. I'm gonna take some gel um, before I go and hit the back, my popcorn bits at the back. I really would like to one day actually do like a proper um, updo hairstyle. So like frontal at the back, or you know how they like, slick your hair up at the back and then put a frontal in the middle. I would really like to do that one day. So I'm pretty much ready to start getting ready. Hey guys, let's get on with my makeup and then I'll be back. So I'm in the Uber. I am on my way to the restaurant. Um, I'm running a little bit late, but to wait for the evening for a bit so it's fine um and i'm just texting me that she just sat down apparently it's really busy in there so should be there in like a couple of seconds so it's fine Hi guys, 
morning so um happy sunday it is about 6 30 in the evening and i'm about to start making some food some dinner i'm making lasagna i was watching tiktok and i'd seen nara i don't know if you guys watch her on tiktok nara nara smith and she's pregnant i was watching her tiktok earlier today or yesterday and she made a lasagna and i was like you know what let me make a lasagna i'm not nara smith and i'm not gonna make my mozzarella cheese from scratch i also want to be a making mozzarella from scratch kind of girly do you get what i mean but i'm not gonna be making mozzarella from scratch i'm just gonna make a quick cheeky lasagna i'm gonna basically spend the rest of the evening um just taking it slow i'm just gonna do some washing and then i have this new book that i've been reading i want to show you guys as well who she is you know i thought she stuff that they um sent to me okay so i got the skirt this was the raw hem scar embroidery embroidery denim mini skirt in indigo vintage wash and i got this in a size 14 so hopefully it fits probably wasn't a good idea to try stuff on after I've eaten. It like almost fits, like almost. Yeah, I should have tried this on after I ate, but it fits, guys. <gasps> guys, this skirt is so nice. But this is so nice. Oh my god. With the right top. Yes. This belt thing is supposed to be at the bottom. But this is so nice, guys. Oh, I love it. And I hate denim skirts that like any denim that flattens my bum. And this absolutely does not do that. Oh my god. Oh my god with the right top okay that's put me in a good mood even though nigeria wallows in a state of whatever the hell he said nigeria just lost in the finals at the african cup of nations and like after all the talking we were doing like us nigerians we are not humble humble the word humble does not exist in our dictionary okay after all the talking we were doing i actually thought we were gonna win but of course not keep it a stack <sighs> let's try on the jeans the jeans is what i'm worried about i just realized i've come on here looking at goddamn mess with the reminiscence of cooking on my jumper but anyways guys so i tried on the jeans i'm not as wowed as i was by the skirt the skirt fit so nicely like oh 
divine. The jeans is exactly what I was scared of. I feel like it kind of, the jeans are doing exactly what I was scared they were going to do, which is kind of flatten my bum and not be as, um, not be as flattering on my shape. And so I got these in a size 16 because they didn't look like there was any stretch in them, which there is not. So I know for a fact that the 14 wouldn't have fit, but then it would have been smaller on the waist. So I don't know whether it's worth getting them taken in. What do you guys think? If you guys think they're saveable and I just have to get them taken in, then I will do that. If not, then I might just um, send them back. I want the jeans to work, but they are pretty long. Unless I get them taken up on the bottom as well. I cannot get away with wearing them with flats. I would have to wear them with heels. I also quickly wanted to show you guys some PR that I got. So I received this box from Fenty Beauty. So they sent me this gorgeous box to celebrate the launch of their new concealers. We just love some Fenty Beauty PR. So big thank you to Fenty Beauty. The Fenty Beauty We're Even Hydrating Longwear Concealer. They sent me the shade 360W and um 330w this is 360 330 let me just swatch so this is 330 i won't say recently <laughs> recently is literally this week but i've been doing a a bit more of a muted under eye so instead of like bright white i've been doing something a little bit closer to my skin tone and a bit more yellow and warm i've absolutely been loving it so this is 360 and this is 330 and then they sent me the fenty beauty invisimat powder this is their instant setting and blotting powder oh my god guys when i say i absolutely love this and i have a suspicious suspicious cheeky feeling that they put this in there purposely because i had um put on my instagram stories and added them as well that my last one had fallen on the floor and broke as all my setting powders usually do so good i'm so excited to have this and then they sent me their hella thick volumizing mascara did, did I already have this? And then we have some Revolution Makeup, Makeup Revolution PR. I love getting PR from them. I just absolutely love Makeup Revolution. Celebrating the launch of their new Skin Silk Skin Loving Serum Foundation. It says my name on the box. How cute. So, Radiant Satin Finish light medium coverage they sent me the shades f13.5 which i think is a good shade for me f15 f16 i'm not really used to like um skin like lightweight foundations i like a lot of full coverage you guys know that but i'm definitely excited to try this out oh this was the book i was telling you guys about that i just started reading so I'm about 21 pages in and this is called Before I Let It Go by Kennedy Ryan. I'm trying to keep up with one book a month, which I feel like is very doable. I just need to stop spending all my spare time scrolling through my phone. So, so I bought this on Amazon for like £8, which is fine. I feel like that's a usual price for a book. And then only for me to go into Aldi today. Why did I see this book in Aldi being sold for three pounds? So guys, if you want to buy this book, go to Aldi. It's there for three pounds. And they also have some other books as well. Good morning, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you guys doing? You haven't seen me in a couple of days, but what's important is that I'm back. My voice is sounding like so hoarse. I literally sound like an app. 
today's actually the day after Valentine's Day. So I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. I'll show you guys my flowers. Look, look at my roses. Like just look at my roses. Oh my god, thank you for my flowers. Do you guys know that TikTok? I find it like literally almost impossible to have a normal conversation with people who are not on TikTok because I TikTok reference everything. Everything is a TikTok reference. Beautiful, beautiful words. I'm very much used to getting flowers. But every time I get flowers, it's just like, oh my God. It's just, I love me some roses. I love me a bouquet. They just, it just makes me so happy. Take these out and put them in some proper water. And then, replace these flowers which are obviously quite obviously dead i'm gonna stop messing around with my roses and i'm gonna get to the gym even though i don't want to like everything in me is telling me to get back into bed but i don't know it's just one of those weeks let me just try to go today even if i do 30 minutes 15 minutes on the treadmill and 50 minutes their master and a couple of ab crunches i think that's the least that I can do. I'm gonna go to the gym now so I don't run too late because I have a lot of editing to do. I have a fashion week party with by rotation actually um, later on in the evening. I also had a converse party to go to but I don't think I'm gonna be able to make the both unfortunately so I'm gonna go to the by rotation party so I'll probably see you guys back in the evening. I have made it into my gym clothes Gymshark t-shirt. I'm wearing a not so sports bra underneath. Gymshark leggings. Because Gymshark just really be the best. Yeah. I'm gonna go now. Even though I don't want to. Bye. Hi guys. We're going to a fashion week party actually with by rotation. Would have filmed the whole getting ready process and what's going on here, but I didn't have time, child. I'm wearing this denim dress, jacket, got my Gucci bag on me. I'm waiting for my Uber. And yeah, we're gonna go. I have to go and meet Jamila. I'm running in a little bit late, but what else is new? Um yeah, so you guys are coming with. So let's go. so tired i'm ready to jump into bed but i'm gonna quickly do my skincare routine i'm also making indomie so i have to hurry up and do it as well but i wanted to try a new a new cleansing balm with you guys and see what it's giving oh dear i don't think i'm ever gonna do a fringe again i just don't like how it makes me look. I'm going to be using a new product. I actually <clears throat> got sent this for quite some time ago and it's the Super Berry Dream Cleansing Balm with Hyaluronic Acid from Youth to the People. I definitely wanted to give this a go because Youth to the People products so far have been nothing but good to me i used to use their cleanser and their cleanser is i was using that for a long time their cleanser is so good got a decent amount on there i'm just gonna definitely got fragrance in it but it's not too heavy just do like this with my eyelashes and get all of that mascara off 
I've basically almost ripped off all my natural lashes in the past month because I don't know, I haven't just been, I haven't been as careful with taking off my lashes. It's gonna cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. I'm going to use my face halo. Um, what is this called? Face halo, face pad, or whatever it's called. I love these. These are like so good. If you don't have them, invest, get them. Make sure that the pad is basically almost drenched. Just so soft on the skin and glow. That looks like it really did the job on my skin. Feels soft. I like that. I'm definitely gonna use that again. I've been using this quarterly cleansing oil. This is so good. I definitely got this in PR. So I'm not actually sure how much it is, but I will be buying it again because it's really good. And then to cleanse and wash my skin, all with oh, M Beauty Super Skin Cleanser. And then I'm using the Dermalogica Breakout Clearing Foam and Wash. I love this. This is so good. Just on my face with my cleansers. I'm gonna go in with my skincare. I'm using my mandelic acid treatment. This is from the Inky List. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really can't tell whether this is working because I don't use it as consistently as I should, but I don't know. So I definitely need some dark spot creams or correctors i saw a tiktok maybe i'll try and link it down below with different recommendations but one of the recommendations was basically uh bleaching soap and i'm like excuse me i don't want a bleaching soap my revolution niacinamide and it's got one percent zinc for my serum this scar on my face i mean it's been cute and I've rocked it nicely, but just needs to go. And I feel like my skincare has reached that point where I physically can't do any more with the skincare routine that I have. I feel like I've got my skin where it can get with the products I have. I need to go to an esthetician and I need a peel, a green peel. I honestly feel like a green peel will take my skin to the next level. I think my skin is in a pretty good place. I just need to get rid of the dark marks. I feel like that is what's holding my skin back. I want to do it before um, it starts to get warmer when summer comes and so when I won't actually have time to sit at home to peel. I probably should have done it in the winter. Like this January, I hardly went anywhere. When ever calm barrier support elixir. I love this stuff. That is my current nighttime skincare routine. Everything except the new cleansing and balm that I tried today. I don't like to use too many actives and all of that stuff. I just like to keep it very simple, as simple as I can when I go to bed, but still giving my skin what it needs. I don't like to send my skin into overdrive. Good afternoon. Hi. I'm off to an event actually. Um, it's a Dr. Jart event. Dr. Jart. I'm not sure how you pronounce the name, but it's the skincare brand. I'm dressed down. Well, I say dressed down, but I'm dressed a bit casual. I'm meeting up with Jamila at the event. I need to leave the house now. I try to do light makeup today. This is my version of light makeup. I need to go now because I told me I was leaving some time ago. So I need to go like now. I am currently walking to the venue. So it's like a, a pop-in event. So it ends at 7, so I'm technically not late, but Jamila's already there. Where are we? Oh, there it is. Hi! Hi. Um, Is it a name? Lisa Gemaday. Lisa? Yeah. Perfect. 
Um, would you like a temporary tattoo? That's cute. How are you? I like the sound Okay, let's go there. Please be gripping everything that you have with this place. Of course, I'm bigger crisis. No, I'm more like vicious. practiced what I'm gonna do if someone was to ever. I'm gonna scream. No, I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs>